Good news and bad news. Good news. We have a Mooseide Satchel. Bad news. We might have officially met the trolliest wolf in the history of post-apocalypse Bear Island. That might have actually happened. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark and Our Against All Odds series where we really are getting trolled hard by this wolf. There are multiple dead deer nearby, which is fantastic because I'm just reaping the benefits left and right. But we also don't have a lot of time left on this fire. Well, we do, but look at the weather. We clearly don't have a lot of time left on this fire. And here comes the trolley wolf. See, I don't want to pass time with a wolf at my back like that. I've also, I'm realizing I don't have nearly as much revolver ammunition as I did when I went into HRV, which makes a lot of sense because I used it a lot to run off wolves. So at this point, as much as I recognize that there are, you know, th there's meat all around me that I could benefit from. Oh boy, here we go. All right, I'm gonna have to nurse this fire because this blizzard's, yep, yep, here it comes. Here it comes. I'm not going to waste a stick just yet. But life just got interesting. Saw that coming. Now, that might not necessarily have despawned the wolf. And I'm not going to assume that it did. But let me go ahead and put one more stick. Wait, it's... Well, I know it is, but I can still put... St what? You're kidding me. You can't put... Oh, is it because... Is it because of the wind? That's what it is. It's because of the wind. Well, damn. Um, I don't think... Uh, it might finish. Hang on. Let's see. I might be able to grab... I might be able to at least take this food with me when I leave. Which is, you know, I'll take it. I'm just... All right, so let's grab that. And I have that and that. Now let's get going. I'm just going to run in the opposite direction of the trolley wolf. And we're going to make our way back to, ironically, where we were hanging out for most of the last episode. But now we don't have to hang out there anymore, which is the nice thing. Okay, uh, the only trouble is that My fingers feel numb. I do know what landmarks to look out for, so yeah, I kind of need to head up this slope. Yeah, it's up here. Because there's this kind of there's this area where there was the dead body with the carrion crows circling it for the longest time, and if you come up here Oh wait, no, it's farther. This is so cold. I don't even know why I clicked there. I think it was just a reflexive response. I don't even know. I, I have no explanation for why that happened. There goes another revolver round. I think I... Like, I was definitely stuck on the terrain, but why would I have needed to click there? Why, why did my finger go, let's go down? Like, wh why would that happen? There wasn't a reason for that. Oh well. Now, I still, unfortunately, don't have any water. I drank it all. Alright, so I can recover some of my energy, and I'm going to need to go get more water, probably just from Grey Mother's. I think I have some still stored there. So, let's sleep. I'm going to get eight hours of sleep, roughly speaking. We'll recover some health, and hopefully this storm will pass, and I might have to do some nighttime travel here. I'll need to be mindful of the fact that I'm carrying this venison, though. Because that that's just kind of inviting trouble. Alright. The weather sounds genuinely terrible. Alright, now, again, just because there's no scent indicator on the screen doesn't mean the wolves can't smell this meat. They absolutely can. 
and they will come for it silently if I give them the opportunity. So, here, let's put the, <laughs> let's put the revolver away. I wish, like, I want to go back and watch that later and just, like, try to put myself back in the headspace of that split-second decision, like, at the moment that I hit that, like, spot in the terrain. Like, why would I have clicked? What was the reflex that was trying to activate? Because it makes no sense. Okay, so... I'm watching for black shapes down there on the ice. I know, you're cold. Yep, I know, make a fire. Make a hot fire. Yep. Hot fire. Hot fires are nice, I agree. I don't think we really have time for hot fires at the moment, but one can always dream. And I don't want to stand between you and your dreams, Jennifer. So, let's head back to Grey Mother's. Just pretty much beelining. Might run into some wolves on the way. But that's what we have this for. We definitely need to start exploring new areas. Like, I need to head to Black Rock. I feel like I hear footsteps in multiple directions, and it makes me very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Visors are already explored. That... Mm, no, I don't think there are any wolves in the immediate vicinity, but I could be wrong. There's just a lot of wind. Jesus, this is cold. I know, I was just talking about that. Well, technically I was talking about the wind. But the wind is part of the temperature. It's midnight, by the way. In case you were wondering what time it was. God, if I don't warm up soon. Wasn't able to get a lot of sleep. But in some ways, this is going to be pretty optimal. Because I'm going to be back at a spot where I will definitely have the ability to get plenty of water. I think I do still have some water stored here. I might be wrong. But even if I don't, I'll be fine. I have plenty of food, and I'm now much closer to my exit point. I just need to be mindful of wolves. Which could be on either side of me right now. And I wouldn't be able to do much about it. I don't hear any, though. Again, that could be because I'm carrying meat, though. So... One should not assume. Yep. Go away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run... for the front door. Inside you go. Holy crap. Back at Grey Mother's. Let's go ahead and get the lantern out. It has been a minute. Holy crap. Let's see what we got. Anything in the cabinet? Is there any water at all? No, there's not. Lovely. Love it. Thankfully, water doesn't cost us well fed, you know, so it's fine. All right. Yes, yeah, so we've got cooking pots. What should I chop up for wood? Also, how is the... You know what? I don't need to chop anything up for wood. I've got 13 sticks. Let's just use that. Also, let's finally take a look at the bonuses. Fire starting level 4. 75% chance to start fires. Fires last 25% longer and can start fires without tinder, which I already knew that part. Alright, so, stove. Start fire. One of my many matches. Thankfully, I'm not as low on matches as I am on revolver rounds. But I think once I start visiting other areas, once I get to areas, especially Timberwolf Mountain, I think it's a pretty good... I mean, that's one of the areas I'm going Come next, on. and I think I'm going to get a lot of ammo there. But also, um, places like Black Rock, which I haven't been that much. Perfect. Uh, Bleak Inlet. Even Ash Canyon, to a degree. I mean, there's a chance... There's a real chance that I'll be able to get a lot more water. Or a lot more. Sorry, not water. I'm thinking of water now because I need to get some. But I'll be able to get 
a lot more revolver ammunition. I keep doing that. Okay, so I don't need to eat anything more right now. But I do need... Yep, one hour, 55 minutes. I have literally nothing left to put on the fire, though. So I think I will have to break up this chair. It's going to take 49 minutes. I don't want to give up this water. Hmm. I think I might have enough time. I think I'm good. Let's see how this goes. Let's drink that. Perfect. Drink that. Yeah, I'm going to have plenty of water now. This is going to work out well. So, if I drink, or if I pick those up, I still have an hour and 22 minutes left on the fire. Oh yeah, plenty of time. Yep. Fast time until ready. Go ahead and drink that. Of course, the majority of it I will keep. Just drink boiling water. What could possibly go wrong? Just going to use this to get upstairs. Now, the downside of my present situation, and I have not forgotten I have those... Well, I might have picked them up, actually, out of just sheer habit. Let's see. Yeah, I did. I did indeed. I was about to say, I have the... Like, I know I have the can still on the fire down there, but I didn't. I picked them up. Let's sleep for five hours. Still have that meat on me, and now we can pretty much, once it's daylight, which is going to take a minute to get it that far, we're going to be able to head straight to the farm, and then straight down into the basin, and then start living off the land for a bit while I read through all of those books. That is going to be incredible, let me tell you. Okay. There's clearly... There's not a lot that I can do at the moment. Although, one obvious thing that I can do, that I need to make sure I keep doing, is sharpening this. Not only because I don't want to lose my axe on the way up to Timberwolf Mountain, but also because it passes time. And gets rid of a whetstone, which is technically <laughs> contributing to my encumbrance a little bit. Technically, sort of. Yeah, everything else looks good. So, not tired enough. Yep, I'm just gonna, let's pass time for two hours. And then what I'm gonna do is sleep until it's more like fully bright. We'll recover some condition at the same time. And it sounds like it's throwing a blizzard at me right as I get ready to do this. Woke up fully rested. What? I needed more than that, didn't I? I thought I needed more than that, but I guess not. Maybe because I'm not walking around encumbered everywhere anymore. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay, so let me, before I go anywhere, I want to check a couple of things. First of all, did I in fact pick those up? Yes, I did. Out of just sheer force of habit. I need to check the cabinet here. Okay, yeah. To the commenter who told me that I still had a wolf pelt in this cabinet. Don't leave comments before you finish an episode because I see that. <laughs> and I go, oh crap. I left, I must have left another wolf hide. But I didn't. And I've been thinking about it this whole time. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Now, still carrying a little fresh venison. But with it storming outside, I think I might, this might be a really good moment. If we've got a blizzard going, this might be a really good moment to just head to the farm, you know? Because I know it's a little bit crazy. I realize it, but... This particular path is very familiar to me. And all I have to do is follow it 
I'm safe from any wildlife. And before long, I'll be at the farmhouse, where I still have shelter. And then I can get the heck out of here. There are some additional things that might be worth grabbing up at Greymother's. I did leave my, like, a lot of the signal void stuff up there, so... Hmm. Might need to go back, but I wanted to take a quick inventory of, like, both places, because I know I also had stuff curing here, specifically rabbit hides curing here. So I'm going to have the ability to repair up my rabbit, the rabbit skin hat again. Which is nice. Okay, so now... Come on, game, give me a shape in the fog. Yeah, I need to go back this way. Perfect. All right. Farmhouse right here. Well, this is lovely. Now, the rabbit skin hat might not be in that bad of condition. Actually, it, it, it could use a repair. So, some of the stuff that's... Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. So, we've got these rabbit pelts. Cured guts. Got the cured wolf pelt. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had this many wolf pelts here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I need four cured wolf pelts, and I have three. Damn. But there is the other one. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. If we make one last visit before we leave, because I said that I was going to, now that I have the moose-eyed satchel, especially now that I have food, and I know there are deer that I can go... Ooh, yeah, I'm thinking about this now. We can go back to the prepper cache. Because we had stuff curing there as well. So let me go ahead and repair this rabbit skin hat. Do not fail me now. I will never forget it as long as I live. Thank you. All right. Uh, I do need a cured deer hide to repair the new deerskin boots. And I don't know that it's necessary to do that yet, to be completely honest. Okay, what do I have inside the trunk here? Yeah, just... I'll go ahead and grab a fresh cooking pot since I need one. All right, so we've got wolf pelt, wolf pelt, wolf pelt, sapling. Now those saplings I can definitely use to craft additional arrows soonish. Do I bring the deer hide with me? I can. I can clearly afford to carry it. Look at all the stuff I can afford to carry. Holy crap. It's genuinely surprising. Like, no matter how many times I've picked up the Moosehide Satchel, like, every time you combine that with well-fed, especially once you have the freaking technical backpack, oh my god. Like, the benefit is just so striking. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna sleep. Because this noise is obnoxious. And I need to regain some health anyway. Perfect, now it's gone. So, at this point, hang on, let's go ahead and eat that venison, drink some water, yeah, I still have leeway carrying all those additional hides. This is why we're doing this. Okay, so yeah, I've kind of talked myself into it. I think we're going to make one more pass toward the back side of this zone. It's worth it for the stuff that is still waiting for us. There's a wolf right over there. That's incredibly rude, game. Why would you do that to me right now? Hang on. Is it possible? Yeah, if I go back and around this way, I might be able to avoid said wolf. I, I'm starting to think in terms of preserving or conserving revolver ammo. I will find more, especially on Timberwolf Mountain, and that is my next destination for sure. Well, 
not right away, but in terms of the next zone that I go to, that's absolutely the next one. And then after that, Ash Canyon. So I'm very confident that I'm not going to run out of revolver ammo and I'll suddenly be unable to run off wolves the way that I've been running them off, to, running them off through the entire series. But yeah, see, now he's coming toward me. Not today, you jerk. Oh my god, really? Right as I say not today? Got him. All right. Well, that gives us an interesting position. We've got another wolf hide, but not one that we have time to wait on, to be honest. I'm happy for the extra revolver skill, which I'll take. I'll grab some sticks too, because I can afford to carry them. But yeah, let's just head back to the rear of the zone as quickly as possible. Also, let me go ahead and reload. I clearly need to, and I'm down to literally my last two full cylinders. Did it not finish reloading there? No, it didn't. When I failed to pick up one of the casings on the ground, it didn't finish reloading. I've never had that happen before. Okay. Ironically, I'm still cold. Despite all the warm stuff I'm wearing. Once I have a wolfskin jacket, I think that'll help a little bit. Notice, by the way, the way that that wolf charged as it did. Alright, so there's another deer here. I'm tempted to kill that, but I'm still I'm still thinking that the the deer that I was getting meat from before is gonna be there. Hello. How's it going? You might want to run. Just a suggestion. Actually I think I hear another deer in the area. Alright, so I might step into the church just to warm up for like an hour because one thing I'm kind of getting weary of is not being at maximum health. <laughs> Granted, I'm still in a much better health situation than I've been in for a while. And it's going to stay cold no matter what. But if I come in here and like sleep for an hour, you know? Then I'll at least warm up. That's interesting. I can't say that I've ever heard... Yeah, just the, the wind sound effect against this particular building. That's different. Got that hiss to it. Okay. I'm pretty much going to beeline straight back toward where we saw the bear before. So hopefully we'll have just as easy of a time getting past the bear as we did the first time. Might have to camp out in a, uh, in a car again. I'm prepared for it. Uh, snowflakes. Snowflakes falling from where exactly, though? That's my question. From from which clouds? This is like rain on a sunny day. You know? Like, wh where is this coming from? Explain that to me, game. Okay. So, there is a possibility of... Hang on, let's take a look. At, okay, first of all, let me go ahead and eat this. Oh, son of a... Yeah, it's that meat. That's what it was. I completely forgot that I was carrying a little bit more meat on me. So it's gone now. 
that is, that is what is attracting the attention and causing the predators to act differently. Oh boy. Okay, so now we have a full-fledged blizzard happening. Or threatening to happen. I bet no one's ever walked on that rock in that exact way before. Holy crap. That was unnecessary. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Because at this point, we're close enough to where I need to be. I'll risk the temperature drop. I need to anyway. The wolf might come out the other side of these rocks here, so I need to be careful. Maybe stay on this side of things. That's actually kind of nice. That's my first validation since the series has come back online. I've said many times, but I haven't played The Long Dark a whole lot over the last couple of years. I've kept up with the updates as I always do. It's one of my favorite games of all time, but I just happened not to play it for a couple of years. Um, it's not that I completely put it down, but with the channel being offline, I wasn't running it all the time. And... So there are certain things that, like, I kind of trust to still be the same way that they used to be. And I will talk about them as though that's the case. I can't feel my feet. But there's always that part of me that's like, is it possible that something's changed? Or that something works differently than it used to? So there's been a lot in my mind. Some of it I've voiced. There's been a lot of, um, a lot of second guessing and a lot of wondering whether or not my knowledge on little tiny things is still correct. And an, a big example of that, like a big example, is what I've kept saying about the scent indicator. And, you know, the fact that you can still attract attention even if there's not a scent indication on the screen. I've talked about that in survival school. I talked about it, you know, in this series. I talked about it during the meta series for Against All Challenges. Like, I've, I've talked about it so much over the years. But I was genuinely wondering, like, is that still the way that the way that it is, or has it changed? And that was my first, like, that I can recall, like, the most obvious proof. Alright, so that wolf is walking away from me. I'm gonna keep going. Because if I can make it to at least the bridge, then I can hang out in those cars and be somewhat warmer. It is possible... I'm not trying to do too many mental gymnastics here, but it is possible that the wolf was just nearby and walked up to me while I was eating the, the venison. But... My experience with the Long Dark has always been that even cooked meat that doesn't show that it's giving off a scent gives off a little bit of a scent. Okay. Alright, the bear's on the opposite side of the bridge. We are not warm enough. Crap. Alright, so I'm going to have to be very, very cautious about this. Alright, so it feels like 28 degrees. I could sleep in the bedroll right now. Like, I could, I could do this. we would get an 8.5 degree warmth bonus. Bear, what are you doing, man? Oh, is he stuck? Is the bear stuck in its patrol route? Or is it just sitting? Okay, now. All right, here it comes. Now it's doing what it was supposed to do. So 
This is going to be a little bit awkward because we have to just sit here and nervously stare at this bear as it walks by. This is definitely more nerve-wracking, or maybe it's less nerve-wracking than the last time we were here, because the last time we were here, we were in a truck on the opposite side of the bridge, and our back was turned to the bear as it walked this way. Now at least we can see it. Last time we only saw it as its butt went by us. But once the bear passes, we can make our way all the way back to... You know, now that I think about it, there might still be some meat up there as well. But yeah, we can make our way all the way back. Oh my god, that's freaking disturbing. I know he can't get to me, but I'm still just watching this bear like... It's fine. Everything's fine. This is normal. This bear doesn't see me. Everything's fine. I'm not moving my head. You see nothing. Hi. <laughs> now would be a very bad time to misclick like I misclick with the revolver. Okay, so we're going to give it a few extra moments. And then we're just going to GTFO. <laughs> we're just going to get the hell out as quickly as possible. It's making its way farther down the bridge. One thing I could do to put a little bit of extra distance between me and the bear is I could get out of this door. I can still hear the bear, though. Why does it sound like it's turned around? All right. Tempting fate right now. All right, we're good. We are good. Running, 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 running. So fast. So very fast. Okay. There is a cave, which we, which we shall have to explore. Well, we've already explored it. We've already been in here. But the nice thing about the cave is that it will provide me a little bit of warmth. And I need some warmth. So there is going to be... This is interesting, heading back up to this part of the zone. Because... There is food up here. I don't think there's food necessarily at the prepper cache anymore, because I, we, we took it all. The only thing that I'm kind of uncertain about that I voiced a moment ago is that there could be, maybe, I think, some meat on the ground that I didn't eat, that I couldn't take with me last time. So that's possible. But I don't know for sure. All right, so now let's step inside. Nice. All right, so I am going to pick some stuff up. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Relieve myself of a little bit of my carrying capacity, or of my burden. I can see at the moment, I know YouTube compression might murder this a little, but I would rather not waste lantern fuel at the moment, so I'm going to move through this relatively quickly. I know you can see that, obviously. We are still warm enough in here, which is nice. Okay, I think I need to go through there, but let me first check this. All right, so there's some coal on the ground. Any more than that? Nope, just that. Cool. Perfect. And it's actually not even that, like, cold is making my head feel thick. not even that treacherous up here right now, which is beautiful. All right, so as I recall, 
I don't know if I remember coming all the way over here before, but I guess I did. Yeah, I came around the corner here and then saw it. Yep, there it is. All right, so is there still meat on the ground here? No, there's not. I ate it. Okay. But there is going to be the uh, these deer hides. Oh, is there not a wolf hide here? I thought there was a wolf hide. I mean, I'll take the deer hides, don't get me wrong, but I thought there was a wolf hide still here. Okay, well, I'm going to step upstairs briefly, and then we're going to step back downstairs briefly. And that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I might be able, though, with the stuff I have now. Yeah. I can totally make the pants. You know what that means. Boots and pants, Legion. I haven't said that in so long. I might have hinted at it before, but now we're actually going to have boots and pants. Next episode, it's going to happen. I just need to make sure that I am, you know, good to go food-wise, which I should be. But we'll worry about that in the next episode in the opening moments and hopefully not have to worry about it too much thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this one don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along if it's not your first time or even your second look for the join button oh no food left <laughs> uh, to access badges emotes and other additional perks new episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m u.s eastern time and comments are always welcome let me know what you think and i'll see you next time